Hey, what's up, everybody? Brett here today. And, uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> uh, yesterday I didn't post a video because I was playing the Call of the Community Tournament. I was gonna say cock, but that just sounds gay. <laughs> but I was playing the Call of Duty Community Tournament, and uh, it wasn't like the real one, it was the qualifiers. And, uh, we did alright. Uh, I had, like, my teammates were stacked. We had Dying Soldier, Big Busy, uh, Jay Nasty. Uh, who else? We were gonna get Z-Jars, but he didn't end up coming, uh, well, we didn't even tell him about it, but we wanted him on the team. Uh, who else? We had, we just had, like, so many people who were really good, uh, Spaz My Dogs was there, we had The Shore, and, man, we had such a good team, but, uh, unfortunately, we ended up losing, uh, I, I think about one of the fifth round in or something, so we won, I don't know, four or five games in a row to get to them. And then, I don't know, shit got intense, and, you know, it's just try-hard head glitchers, you know, with our entire team. We played GB only, so they were barely even, like, second prestige, and, uh, like, all of us have enough uh, XP to be 10th prestige by now, so that shows you the difference between who plays online and game battles. And, you know, it's just, uh, just not fun. Uh, little kids complaining and stuff. It wasn't a fun tournament, let's just say that. I was really stressed out at the end, so... After that, man, I just, I felt terrible. I had to go take a nap. I felt like I've been, I gamed, like, pretty much all day yesterday trying to get into this tournament to get into the Call of Duty Community Tournament, which would be the big one. And if we probably won the 512-team tournament, which was the qualifier, if we won that, we probably would have went all the way because, like, we would have had enough practice by then, enough organization. We would have been used to the rules. And uh, not only that, we, like... We would have already had to beat, like, 11 teams, uh, or 11, we would have had to win 11 games in a row, so winning another, like, 4 or 5 wouldn't be a huge deal. And, uh, I might, I might, like, level of, like, Busy, Big Busy, and me, like, uh, even, I, I don't know, The Shore, we're all about, oh, and the Quad Car Bomb, out of nowhere, I'm, there you go, enjoy that. Um... Like, we have enough subs probably to be on the Call of the Community. And if you just see here, like, the entire enemy team is really, like, low-leveled. Because this was a f before the game came out, I'm pretty sure. This is how old this gameplay is. Because I haven't had time to, like, get uh, any sick gameplays. So these are all saved-up gameplays. Because I've just been doing bad. But, uh, anyways, with this Call of, Duty community, uh, Call of the Community... It's just basically they take a, it's for a charity event, and they take all the best uh, commentators, the most popular commentators, and put them into a tournament, and uh, like a lot of people watch a live stream, it's all for charity, so it helps out people donate and stuff like that, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, if you want to check it out, I'll still link it uh, if I remember. Uh, but, you know, I'd, I'd want to be, like, on the roster next time. I think I talked to Aviator, the guy who's hosting it, he said, next uh, Call of Duty community, I'll let you be on it, and I was like, sweet! And, you know what, uh, I think I wanted to be on it so much, it's not the money, or I don't really care about winning the money or anything, but, uh, it's, it's more about the exposure that, uh, you get out of it, because there's gonna be a million people watching the live stream when you get to the final match, and that's what they had last year, I think that's what they said. So, a million people watching the live stream, think about how many, like, like, popular, how much, how many more subscribers you would get, how popular ch your channel would go, and, you know what, I don't know, I, I just been kind of... I don't know, low lately, not low, just just today, I felt like kind of shitty, and I I don't usually have shitty days, and I, I don't know, it's just like, I think I'm a little jealous at like the people who actually get famous, and like, and there was a, there's one a big example, and I, I don't like to bring it up, because like, fair enough, but um, it, it was like, it, like, I know there's a lot of, lot of commentators out there, but like people like me, I bred I, who just post a lot of other people's gameplays and help them out and stuff, and it's just like an, a not an ongoing issue, but it's like something that's been on my mind lately, and it's like they help people out and then they don't really get help back, and that's kind of like one of those things you think about, and it's kind of like ah uh, maybe they should, and I, I don't want to be like a dick about it or anything. I'm trying to be the nicest I can be, but the example I was thinking of, because I know you guys probably know. Fear crads, but back in the day when I was just a not a little YouTuber, I think it was before Black or just when Black Ops came out, uh, I posted two of Fear crads' gameplays and did a dual com with him. And I at that time I had about 5,000 subs, and during that time I I helped them out a little bit. Maybe it wasn't like the biggest help out in the world, but it did help him out, and maybe that shout out gave him enough exposure. For like iBread to see him, and then from iBread, even if iBread like saw him through me or not, he then uh, shouted him out to Xtraws, and then Xtraws Xtraws picked him out, gave him a shout out, and then boom, 
all of a sudden he's the most popular you like new youtuber and i was like man i'm kind of jealous of that and you know what he, he deserves it he's got really really good gameplay but you know there's people who've been around in the community so long maybe they should get some help back like i for me i i would say like maybe ibred deserves a shout out for like fear crowds and i sound like a little whiny little pathetic bitch right now but i i don't mean to be like that that way at all but i'm just kind of saying what's happening and you know what if they gave i like if fear crowds just got a, a dual com with extras and i was like wow now he's gonna hit a hundred thousand subscribers and they're pretty much all gonna be active subs so like i'm kind of jealous of that he's making like not only the money but it's just the the um, the community Kind of like I like when I like get a lot of comments. I like when people like my videos. I just enjoy posting videos for you guys. And I know the um, the whole atmosphere of the YouTube community is very dense. So there's a lot of a lot of people out there right now. So it's hard for someone to get uh, get known. And that's why I help other YouTubers who are like not as fortunate and a little a little smaller than I am. So by me posting their gameplays, they maybe get 100, 100, 200 subs, whatever it is. So that helps them, and I, I don't mind it. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, if you guys like it, why not, you know? Um, but, yeah, that's just my little take on it. Um, and, like, Fear, Fear Cats with 100k subs, he gave a little shout-out to iTemp. And I also did a, uh, I think I posted one or two of iTemp's gameplays as well and gave him a shout-out back in Black Ops. So maybe, I know iTemp um, pretty well, so, you know, I just don't talk to him on Xbox Live as much. But we tweet each other back and forth. Same with me and Fear Cats. So hopefully maybe one day um, maybe we can do something together. I, I don't want to push them or anything like that, but uh, maybe if like I get enough of, enough good gameplay or something like that, maybe it's just the the respect to give someone a shout out because they deserve it. But not only because they helped them, maybe because they deserve. It. Maybe I don't deserve it because I'm not good enough. But who knows? Um, that's just my little take on it. But you know, if uh, any of those big commentators like actually noticed me a little more and like didn't see me as kind of just a, a random BK kid that'd be cool but it's not the end of the world that's just kind of what's on my mind right now guys final score 60 and 6 with 20 assists and this was the day the game came out or even before the game came out so this has been on my hard drive for a while so I hope you guys enjoyed my name is Group Red 2 and I will see you tomorrow have a good day guys peace out